Yeah, she probably would like it now, I'm sure. Are you wanting me to take it? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can take it later if you're going to take it. Well, no, you know, she's eating supper right now. She doesn't have to eat, eat it while she's... Sometimes we have to, but yeah, he can come out for a while now. And Hensley wants in. They just keep coming. <laughs> they just keep coming. How's everybody doing out there? Yep, Dexter's mama's here. Good evening, everybody. Well, it might be morning somewhere. Vera has not had her meds. Let me look at her. Are you waiting?
Yes, I'll be here in the morning. You know, let me check something though. Thank you. We got one more back that done for you. Okay, I gotta go to sure. The um All right, yeah. Now how's it doing? Was I feed them or somebody else feed them? Um they they were fed this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I feed them breakfast. Or no, no, no. You feed them breakfast and we fed them this afternoon. And they don't eat anything. The horses to read day? Yeah, right. they done too. Cool. Okay. All right. All right, so I'll see you Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, I'll be here Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Angie. Well, Appreciate you. Okay, sounds good. All right. So, yeah, I'm here tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, is Mudgy on? to extend my sympathies to for the loss of your kitty. You worked long and hard on, on him and I'm really sorry that that had the outcome that it did. I saw you put something on Facebook which is nice because a lot of people have asked about your kitty. So glad that you did that. Um, Mudgy, I'm ready. You're ready, I'm ready. This one is from Faithy who was here Sunday with her doggy and she left this here. Oh, it's like, what is that? I still don't know. The three of you are not allowed to have us. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Let's do this instead. A, it's a brand new um, perfect cooker perfect cooker wow let's see if we can get a picture here for you there you go here's a picture so this is for catathon and we can easily put this in in our um, kitchen kitchen something along that line because we don't have names of everything yet so we'll put this back in there and uh, faithy i appreciate this this will be really nice addition to it yeah. thank you faithy Faithy was here the other day with her, her doggy. There we go. You know, and while we're on Faithy's name, I have a, well, hello there. Oh, oops. You're going to come up here and spit up? Okay. Do you want to write Jonathan on the top? No, she, he didn't, but I think he sure would like to. Um, I don't know what's happened to my notes, but uh, the ones I wanted aren't up there. So we'll just bear through. We do have a kitchen basket, yes. Yes, a yes, say yes. All right, and this one is also for Catathon, and it's from Phyllis, Phyllis B. Thank you, and that is Kitty Mom. All right, mittens. It says coupons. Oh, here's coupons. Ah, you put 
that just you know open the door and throw them in. There's literally just throw them in. Yeah, I went after boxes when I go in I go over there and pick things up. <laughs> There's a uh, classic here, let's get a little closer. Hey, I saw that Dawn Star. <laughs> There's a Monopoly game. It's the grab and go. So this will definitely go in our game one. And Phyllis also sent, check out all these. These will be going in, oh, the, some of these are kind of shiny on there. These will be going into the movie basket, date night, Lord of the Rings, night at the museum, a very good movie, uh, Terminator, Blindside, good movie. Dr. Horton's, which is good. This one. Awesome. Marlene and Me, good book, good story. These are all be in the movie basket. X-Men. There's a wide variety. Scooby, Dooby Doo, Ladybugs. Um, oh, we, we bought a zoo. This was a good one. And Marmaduke. Great titles, Phyllis. And there's another game here. Oh, it's a memory game. So lots of movies for the movie basket and two games for the game basket. Awesome. For those of you that don't know how the this works, you know, like if somebody starts a movie basket and you want to join, put something in to join in, you can... One person doesn't have to fill a whole basket. It can be from 10 different people. It's just fun. Today is Happy National Pet Day. We got lots of pets here. Or at least a couple. <laughs> just a couple. Just a couple. Thank you, Phyllis. Yeah, this is really nice. And maybe we could write big, even though she's got it there. And then these go over there on that table, on the counter where Dawn is. And then we'll, I'll get those out there. Thanks, Phyllis. And this one came through Amazon. I don't have a name on the outside. Oh, do we have a name on the inside? I don't see a name on the inside, but... Something we like. We have a case of baby food. And this is the chicken beech nut. So if somebody's out there donated this and you would like to let Mudgy or, or another of the mods know, and Mudgy will get it, um, we would like to say a thank you to you for in the blog. Yeah, thank you. Very, very nice. Thank you. We like our baby food. This can go over there too, and after we're done, we'll put it away. That's up, Vernon. He's got his toys there. He's playing with his toys. Where's my Zelda girl? No Zelda. You know, and let's do a couple of these too while we're here. volunteer for Friday night um, from Archfold. She brought a, <clears throat> a pack of uh, toilet paper, which we like, and coupons, and uh, two big bottles of soft soap. And she also, for the uh, catathon, brought some craft items, some craft items. Yeah, we'll ha also probably end up with a crafty, craft type basket too. Um, Katie, who is visiting here, she brought a whole bunch of kitty toys, a bunch of snackers. I put two pluses beside them. And some a whole batch of brand new poopy bags. We don't have to check for holes. And three cases of fancy feast. So Katie, thank you. She's working on a little sleep right now. <laughs> and then Ellie. Ellie, 
is our FedEx lady. She brought two baby foods jars and four packs of paper plates. Ellie's the one who, who likes the cats and the dogs. She's so sweet. So Ellie, our FedEx lady, two baby foods and four packs of paper plates. And then yesterday, Connie D was here. And uh, her family came. Uh, it's Diana W. Is her sister, and her and her family came. Her, uh, she had one nephew and two nieces. It was they brought two cases of Friskies, and two big snacker packs. Two big snacker packs and two cases of Friskies. Thanks, L Skates, but uh, um, yeah, it needs cut. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> I'm one of those that comb the hair in the morning and that's about it for the rest of the day. I think it's just because I'm, I'm lazy on that. Okay, I got a feeling this is this is probably from our friend Eagle Watcher. I think. I, I'm not positive, but I think so. sales raffles or whatever she we she's been she sends us has been sending us once a month um, uh, postcards and a lot of you have gotten them and this one is for the next month and I like this especially because it's on spaying and neutering so it says my kittens found homes yours may not be so lucky please spay and neuter your pets and you all know who that is? Yep. You all know which one this one is? Yeah, <laughs> Tabby Cat. <laughs> hey, Wolf Patch, did you see uh, Samson Wolf's picture on Facebook? I thought it was really cute. We'll take these over to the mail room then, Katie. Okay. Katie was kind enough to stay so to help with boxes. Isn't that nice? Yeah, good old Clarissa. Oh, yeah, I heard from her mom. I heard from her mom. Oh, good. Kitty's, Kitty's mom. Um, I, uh, Kitty, uh, Gretchen. <gasps> Gretchen called. And she's the one who adopted Clarissa. And the first thing she says was, um, I did not adopt Clarissa. Clarissa adopted me. You remember when Clarissa's on the counter and she likes you? You all know what she does is lick, 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 lick you. She just all over you. She's just so sweet. I love it. And that's what she's doing to Gretchen. And kneading on her and licking her and... Uh, Gretchen loves it, and she's in her lap, she's on her bed, and she has a place, I think she said by the window, and then on another bed, too, she's claimed. So, I'm just so tickled. You know, those ones that's been here a while, those are the hardest ones, because, you know, I worry. I, it's hardest ones for me, because I do worry, but um, she's doing awesome. All right, and this one, oh, I think I've got a note on this. I got a letter from Fosters and Smith today. There you are, it's about time you come. 
and it I believe this is from Zulab says these are some, some these are some supplies for your kitties and new babies that will be showing up soon. Pam T Zulab and oh Pam thank you. <laughs> oh these are the ones that her her pillow. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> can you hear that? These are awesome. Kitties lay on them and bump on them and they start purring. Press head to activate. Yeah. There it goes. It's purring. Do you like that, Zelda? Oh, and the Kong Woobas. These are cool. Just right for kitties. Oh my gosh, oh. Thank you for the front line. Oh gosh, this is 12. These are for 12 kitties. Front line plus, thank you. I know these are not cheap. Sleep prevention isn't, but you gotta do it. And this is the kind that uh, in another two weeks or so, we're, when we treat all of the Kobe's and the Porchies and the Barneys, they all have to go on Frontline Plus then instead of the Advantage, because um, that's when the when we have trouble with the tips. I can hear that purring, <laughs> and um, we will do Frontline for May and June, and then by that time, then we usually don't see them. So we didn't. A couple years ago, we used Advantage yet in May, and boy, we quickly had a problem. Some of you might remember. And there's also a case of KMR. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. Zulove, I appreciate this. Yeah, Frontline is good for ticks, please, the different stages. These here go in the back room. Or in the storage room, right over yeah. there. And these You're go in June's room. With your life. Yeah, they go in June's room over there. <laughs> and the KMR. Um, that goes on the counter, and we'll okay. we'll take care of that. And advantage is good too, but uh, we don't have trouble with the fleas. Revolution. Hi, Dawn. Are you sick? Yeah. I brought you your great jelly for your oh, birthday. Thank you. And then we'll see from the back of the Everybody knows I'm so much here in the tub. Revolution also helps control flea ticks as well. Um, the advantage doesn't work with the with the ticks. So for our outside kitties, we always use frontline here in Ohio. Um, May and June and then come May and June and then come July then we we switch back to Advantage or Revolution I I I'm boy we've been doing more and more Revolution on the outside guys because it also works for internal and external uh, parasites and uh, that that helps this cat was so mad at me this morning I'm going to say about Faithy. Well, we opened up a box of hers. Is that what you mean? Are you done being mad at me? Huh? So, uh, Zoo Love, thank you for this. I appreciate it. Okay, you, you're you're going to have to get down. You watching, Dawn? So, Dawn, you got the upper respiratory junk? It's a chest. I'm oh. not my sciences yet. Hope not. Uh, that's no fun. Oh, he was sick first. Yeah. No, Farrah gets downright grumpy, grouchy, mean, and. Not you. You don't. Good. Oh, good, Mudgy. Now, here on the kitties in here, I usually use Advantage on them. Except. Except for the new kitties. 
all the new cats and kitties, they have like three months of revolution just in case our um, parasite control for the internal ones don't work. You know those roundworms, they're just nasty old buggers and they just don't want to die. Oh, this is from Laura Contessa. Here is a special box from my neighbor, Phyllis, and her two wonderful kitties. She has a gorgeous black Bombay named Abby and a beautiful pure snow white kitty named April who has golden eyes. This box has some forks and spoons and several rows of small cups you can use in the bathroom. She wanted this stuff to go to someone who could use it and I thought of FFRC. Hope this helps and thanks for from all of us. Thank you, Contessa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these these are these are nice. Definitely. <clears throat> there's Mudgy, there's five hundred um, little portion cups yeah. and there's spoons. What are you doing in there? And spoons and spoons and forks. Yeah, Contessa if or spoons. Yeah. Yeah, Contessa, if you could for me, and I will put it in the blog though too, um, we'll thank Phyllis and Contessa for being a part of this. Yeah, thank you very much. Can you go in the storage room? Oh, you want to just take that and then we can burn the box? Or we'll recycle it. Oh, is Ruth is gone, isn't she? Ruth is our great recycler. All right. Well, you can stay there one more time here. No, no, stay there. And Patty, you stay still. <laughs> She's just going to pop, like unseal. Will you let me know if Dodger or Dakota eats for you? Boy, two little feisty girls there. Hey, Whittle Tigger. This is from Whittle. Whittle, whittle. Oh. Come on, Zelda. You better not go to the edge, girl, because... Yeah, just be careful. This is from Whittle. I don't have an extra note, but I'm pretty sure this is for our camping. On the counter in the mail room. Our camping um, basket. Oh, oh gosh, I gotta quit putting chapstick on. Um, yeah, Faithy. I'm gonna try my memory. Faith, Faithy also donated three um, real cute little girl pins, writing pins. I'm going to have to find my note, and I'm so upset yes, with myself when I forget <laughs> important <laughs> stuff like that, because so it, it is important. Oh, I know where it is, because I was going to put it in the blog. Hey, Mudgy, I've got it. I know right where my note is so, okay. on that. Um, so this is a meal kit, everything needed to prepare and eat a meal outdoors. And it has a lid, a bowl, a pop-up cup, spoon, a snap box, original snap box, oval to store in, a cutting board, and a harness to go around it. Wow, that is really cool. Wow, I've not seen one like that. That's really cool. So this will go in the, in the camping basket. And this is also for the camping basket. What is this? What is this? Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, it's a hammock. Oh, this is a hammock, folks. Oh, this will be fun. And maybe the trip to wherever this beautiful scenery is is included. A hammock. And this is called Marsh a Zing. Marsh a Zing. Marshmallow roasting sticks. Kids love them. Five pieces, multicolored, 32 for 34 <coughs> telescoping marshmallow sticks. 
Ooh, this is so much fun. Oh, wow. Oh, you can do two, and then you can do a, a hot dog on that as well. Whoa, that, these are really nice. Oh, Whittle, these are really nice. Wow. Hmm. There's Sis, Kiss, 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 Kishabob. Shishkabob. Shishkabob. Bug. Bob. Yeah, those sticks. Those thing are dingers. Yeah, so there's five of these pretty colorful marshmallow sticks. Those are doohickeys. These are, these are cool. And there's something else in here, too. You know what, folks? I think we're going to end up probably with two camping baskets. Yeah. Oh, this is another one. This is what I would have to take the marshmallow sticks and this one because it's a popcorn popper. These work. I've cooked a lot of popcorn with these. Great for use in the fire pit or fireplace. You put it in, a little oil, a little popcorn, maybe a little flavoring on your popcorn, and shake it, shake it, shake it. Steam comes out of all those holes, and boy, you got some good popcorn. Yeah, yum. Okay, so this will go out there too. In Kitty City. Hey, do you want to write Canathon on there? Okay, look at Gina. Isn't she beautiful? Hey, I got an update on Gina too. This is who? Gina. Gia. Gina. Did I say Gina? You did. That's my sister Gia's owner says that they're looking at a house Wednesday, and if they get it, then she'll be able to take Gia back home with her. That's you, girl. Giovanni. That's your real name. And this box is also from Amazon. You can come over, Farah. Just one second. She's hungry. She acts like she has meat sometimes today. Who's that? Try to so. Oh. <laughs> and where do you want this one? Well, uh, what is that? That's going to stay a second. I'm going to finish these, do the envelope, and then show them what that is. Whoops, sorry, baby girl. That one, just give me a minute here. Uh, this one is, oh, I know what this one is. This one is for another basket for Catathon, and it's the Knitting Crocheting, and it's from Cat Lover, who is Gina. She says, this yarn and Ziploc bag items are for a crocheting knitting basket for Catathon. There are also pop tabs. Da, da, da. And this goes in that back door too, or that door too. I still plan to make shawls and send them in the fall. Take care, Gina, who is cat lover. <laughs> and so, oh, here is some more. So this stuff will go in. Thank you, Gina. This goes for uh, the crocheting knitting one. And not only is there bunch of crocheting needles all different sizes it looks like she thought of everything lots of different sizes there Mudgy. wow there's a lot and needles also and also tape measure and then I show you the colors these are beautiful and it's the Bernat yarn very nice there's this pretty blue. I'll just get one out of each. A purple. A maroon. Oh, this is this is pretty. This is called magenta. Of course, it would be pretty. And a cream. And this is a steel blue heather. 
There's two of each. What do you call these reams? <clears throat> this is aqua and um, Kelly Kelly green. So there's two rolls of each ones of these. Thank you, Gina. This is awesome. This was going to be a fun one. Nice yarn, folks. Really nice yarn. Um, magenta. Magenta. I guess we don't have to put them back in order. Jenny's going to get these all out anyhow. To Gina, thank you. Awesome. Going to be an awesome box. Eight different colors. Skeins. That's what it is. Huh? Do you want to write? That's on. Yeah. A little bit bigger. Yeah. Thank you. And then we have some envelopes. And then I'm going to show you something. And tell you about. Oh, oh here. Um, Mudgy. Stephanie, oh yeah, we had two visitors. Stephanie and Jesse was here, I think it was on Saturday from Napoleon, and they brought a bag of dry cap food, uh, toilet paper, a pack of toilet paper, kitty wipes, and a case of Fancy Feast. So it was Stephanie and Jesse. Jesse spelled J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, and they, from Napoleon, and they brought a bag of dry cat food, toilet paper, kitty's wipes, and fancy feast. Thank you both. Wrong color for here, balls. <laughs> yeah, 16 skeins from Jean I've got. Can you get in there, buddy boy? Get that one. Oh, Vernon wants in here so bad. There you go, bud. Can you get in there? Oops, sorry, Patty. Sheesh. Kind of messy tonight. Um, did you this box yet? Yeah. Did you do it? I think I did. I don't think you did. I didn't? No. Oh, I didn't. Oh, did you? Okay, well, we'll finish these. He can play in there a minute. Can play? This came from California. <laughs> and... Um, Vernon's the hero. He just found a box that was here I didn't open. <laughs> says, Jackie volunteers and all the kitties. I just want to wish you a happy Easter and may God bless you and your families. Please use this donation for medicine or whatever is needed most. Kiss all the kitties for me. I love them all and get such joy watching them. Thank you. And... It says, quack, happy Easter. And this is from, oh, this is from Annette 20. Annette, thank you, Annette. Appreciate you very much. Your Easter card and your donation. Thanks, Annette. Annette's been with us for quite a long time. He's having fun. And wanted to let Bets know that your flash sale envelope arrived. Um, can't think of the first name. From Fairfield, Ohio, your flash sale envelope arrived. Um, Little One Mine, your flash sale envelope arrived. Um, She had to add her two cents worth. Brooke, your your flash sale envelope arrived. And Farm Girl, your flash envelope arrived. And so did Isabird, Isabird, I Z A, Isabird, your envelope arrived. And Patricia M um, from California, your flash sale envelope arrived. I like to let you know so that you don't worry about it. 
And also want to let you know that Melissa L. from New York. We received your donation and thank you very much. Melissa from New York. And then we have a donation from Pat, who is our Thursday night volunteer. Um, she sent in the mail, which was so sweet of her, a donation that is to be used for our spay neuter fund. Our sp and don't forget, Saturday is our spay neuter. Whoa, we got to make sure we're ready for that. We were making, putting together the comfort bags today. Okay, Vernie boy. Vernie, Vernie, you better go to Katie because if I lift that with you, you might lose your balance. And this is from Yarn Lover. This is from Yarn Lover. Is this one that you thought was supposed to be here? It is. <laughs> it was down there. And Vernon got in it and said, hey, you forgot this one. Yarn Lover from California. Boy, we're hitting California. And, oops, sorry, sorry, Kara. Ooh. Here you go, Patty. Oh, we got our letter. Here are a few things for Catathon. I'm so looking forward to it. What a fun time. Recently, I sent you an email about a jigsaw puzzle using your address. I remember that. Well, when I went to the website to order it, I saw a lot of reviews, which I hadn't seen before a lot of bad reviews apparently these puzzles have identically shaped pieces oh gosh oh my God. which caused <laughs> a lot of people to put pieces together only to find out they didn't belong together so they had to undo what they had done and reassemble elsewhere not fun also some said that if there were there were a lot of trees then it was too dark which made it harder to do the puzzle I had received with my own address wasn't hard to do since I am so familiar with the area where I live. Not so with whomever got this puzzle since they wouldn't be familiar with Defiance. Anyway, I decided it wouldn't make a fun gift, but they offered a trivet showing an aerial view of your address in the center with the surrounding area. Hope whoever wins this will enjoy it. If anybody is interested in this type of gift, they go to nationalgeographic.com. On a sadder note, oh, please accept my condolences on the loss of Queen Bella. She was truly a precious soul. She will never be forgotten. And this is Brenda. And Brenda is yarn lover. And uh, we have here a scratch pad, a scratch mat. So this, you know, will go in. Um, See now, we got one called the cat for a cat. We have two cat type baskets. One is a cat, cat items for owner, cat items for cat. And this is cat item for cat. The one cat items for owner is things with cats on that are for people to enjoy. Oh, and 67 reasons why cats are better than dogs. <laughs> Establish, establishing the superiority of the feline persuasion. And here in the bathtub is a dog giving a kitty a backwash. <laughs> so see now this could go in different things. This may be go in the cat one or it could even go in a book one. And this is I work hard so my cat can have a better life. So like this one <laughs> could go in the cat items for the owner. So see how we do this? We figure it all out. Right now I'm putting everything together and maybe next week we'll start um, getting the baskets out with their um, names on them to identify them and then uh, start divvying them out. And this must be that trivet. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. 
National Geographic. Wow. Okay, let me turn it the right way. And yeah, look at this. This this is cool. Look at this. So this is our Auglaise River. That's right smack across the road here. And here's Parkview Drive, which is down the road just a little bit. And it looks like right here is where we are at. This would be where we are at. And see this blue here? This is what we call the backwater. So our island, we go, we go way back to that backwater. Yeah, that, this is where we're at. And then this is the backwater that we like to um, put the, boat, the little rowboat on. That is really cool. Yeah, so it has the address, so yeah, that's oh, yeah, the look. star. Yeah, is... look, it has the address on there too. That's really cool. You know what, this would maybe be cool in it. Oh, and look at the nice cork board on the back. This might be neat to put in that, um, the FFRC, travel to FFRC uh, basket. Okay, wow. This is really, really neat. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they did stuff like that. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. That is really cool. Can you write put a posty note on there for Catathon. And hang on just a minute, please. just putting them in there for a couple minutes is all it takes. But he'll for sure go back in there for bedtime. I think Hensley is still in there. Yeah, he is. Hensley would stay in there all day long. Whoop, whoop. I didn't want to scare you. Okay, so we we're we're gonna have something that's uh, well I I I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here, but I can't go into full detail because I don't even know yet. <laughs> it's just something that we've decided we would like to do. We're gonna have an event. Um, I'm going to have to use my notes here because uh, I don't know. It's all new to me too. So I just now today let the volunteers know. And I would love it if you all... How did you guys know that? Feliz Navidad. Operation Feliz Navidad. Holy moly, you guys are, they never miss anything. How did you guys know that already? <laughs> I just named it yesterday, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Um, want to have some fun? We need to do a fundraiser to help boost our depleted Feliz Navidad fund. Now, these notes, it's posted on the cam. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm the one 
that's had no sleep. I've even had the screen up by my by my uh, um, computer all day. Well, off and on all day while I'm working. It's like you know this big of a screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh geez. <laughs> Oh, it, it, I've just, the last half week, I've just been really having some goofball problems and just, um, okay, so just bear with me. <laughs> so you don't know what Feliz Navidad is, though, do you? I'm, well, I know you know who Feliz Navidad is. I do look at the cam. <laughs> Actually, I, I, it's up there and big. It should have been popping me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Severin. <laughs> oh, golly. I do know what's going on around here, though, really. <laughs> Can't help that day. That's right, Lady Gal. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is what I wrote to the volunteers just this morning <laughs> uh, because I, I need to enlist their help, and they're, they're all coming through. We got a lot of help. That's what I think it is, I've heard, and the weather. Um, so, we would like to boost our depleted Feliz Navidad fund. This is a fund that we use for the over and above regular medical needs. You, you used some of our Feliz Navidad fund long ago. We would like to have some fun with the webcam viewers with us and incorporate their help with this. Let's have an event called Operation Feliz Navidad. So, Kind of in, in a nutshell, this is what we're going to do. And the date is April 30th because I just verified that today too. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like coffee, but I love to smell it. So that is on a Saturday, correct? Let's just make sure. Yes, it is. It's on the, la on, on the last Saturday of this month. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, probably, these are probably, so we're going to have a um, Operation Feliz Navidad raffle. There's only going to be two items in it. One is a iPad Air, and it's a really, really, really nice iPad Air. That's going to be one item. The second one is this awesome Xbox which is a really dandy Xbox. It's uh, 500 gigabytes. It's Xbox 360. Um, it has the quantum break. This is an awesome Xbox. So this and the iPad Air was donated by an anonymous friend who wanted to help. I said she had ESP because I have been thinking, how can we do this for Feliz Navidad to get that fund back up? Because it's been kind of um, pokey, a lot pokey. And on that next day, then she emailed me and said she would like to help with something for a fund. And this is what we're doing. So I'm just tickled. This is going to be ran as a regular raffle, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe close it up Friday morning at 9 somewhere like that, but it'll be the iPad Air and this awesome Xbox 360, just those two items. All that money that for the tickets, $5 tickets, will go towards the Fleece Navidad Fund. And then what we're going to do on the 30th, we think at two o'clock, I'm not positive on that time, but right now it says, um, uh, we're thinking of 2 o'clock. The reason we're doing that too is because we want to be able to be later in the day to help our West Coast folks and friends be up and about and maybe can join us. So what's going to happen on that day is we're going to have a vet called Dr. Uh, Cat Scan is going to be here. And there's go there are two cats that I know that's going to be here that's going to go through the ringer so to say with this Dr. Cat <coughs> cat um ah, 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 ah cat scan Dr. Cat scan and uh, all kinds of things are going to happen to these kitties they they've got owners our owners have already scheduled the, these two appointments and you're going to love these owners they're 
pretty top-notch owners. We're also going to have a little mini commercials here and there that talks all about kind of cat stuff and a little bit about spaying and neutering and cat fun things and a whole bunch of different kind of things. But whatever we talk about, we want to relay what the cost of all the expenses are that we have to have in order to help our kitties that have over and beyond and even some help with the regular stuff. Hang on. So I think we're going to just have a, have a good time and uh, hope, hopefully provide some entertainment for you all. Hey, hey Vernon. And um, kind of give you an insight of what happens on, at some of our, our vet visits. He might need to go in now. Yep, he's we better do it before he loses his cool. Okay, so two o'clock. So take hands out and put him in. Um, April 30th. And we would love to have you all be with us. I know Hensley loves that Dodgers pin. He loves, loves, loves it. Yeah, Buffy, we're all so sorry, Buffy. It's so hard to lose our babies, isn't it? Okay, so we'll fill you in more as we know. I did hear something about one of the cats. I saw the schedule. Something about one of the cats coming in. Has a really bad eye, I guess. A really bad leg. Something like that. So um, I guess we'll learn more from Dr. Cat Scan when, when this all happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we try to we try to keep things happen here. Oh, our local we don't really have a local TV station in Niper. We have a little bitty channel five that. Well, it's not like a regular TV station. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna go check out my mom and get her tucked in and. Um, London. And <laughs> Katie, we'll see Katie tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You're here till Friday. Yep. Cool. Friday All right. Get a good sleep. Can you help me with my spot? I'll do it. You sure? Mm, that won't take me long. Thank you. And I'll okay. see you tomorrow. <laughs> LJ, I have no idea. I will. I'll tell Mom night. We'll do him cast. Well, we might, I think that's where maybe we might find a five foot cat at. I'm not sure. It's all a mystery yet. I will. I'll tell my, I'll pass all that on to my mom. But I do think you'll have some fun. Yep, that was goofy. All right, nighty night, folks. Oh, gosh, it didn't come today, Joko. Nighty night, folks.